Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Murray Yates. I'm feeling a little bit better today. So much so that I've been singing Christmas calls with some of my spiritual brothers and sisters in the local shopping centre. It reminded me that we are even closer to a very special time of year. Talking of which, shall we open door 15 of our drink calendar? Genesis chapter 49 verse 10 brings us to a time when Jacob, also known as Israel, is on his deathbed. And as was the custom, decides to call his sons together, so that he may bless them. This is part of what he said to Judah. The scepter will not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet, until he comes to whom it belongs. To him will the obedience of the peoples be. It is Numbers chapter 30 today. Let's open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people say and hear your word, they come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Numbers, chapter 30. Moses spoke to the heads of the tribes of the children of Israel, saying, This is the thing which Yahweh has commanded. When a man vows a vow to Yahweh, or swears an oath to bind his soul with a bond, he shall not break his word. He shall do according to all that proceeds out of his mouth. Also, when a woman vows a vow to Yahweh, and binds herself by a bond, being in her father's house, in her youth, and her father hears a vow, and the bond with which she has bound her soul, and her father holds his peace at her, and all her vows shall stand, and every bond with which she has bound her soul shall stand. Yet the father forbids her, in the day that he hears, none of her vows, or of her bonds, which is bound her soul, shall stand. Yahweh will forgive her, because her father has forbidden her. If she has a husband, while her vows are on her, or the rash utterance of her lips, with which she has bound her soul, and her husband hears it, and holds his peace at her, in the day that he hears it, then her vows shall stand, and the bonds with which she has bound her soul, shall stand. But if her husband forbids her in the day that he hears it, then he shall make void her vow, which is honour, and the rash utterance of her lips, which she has bound her soul. Yahweh will forgive her. But the vow of a widow, or of her who is divorced, everything which she has bound her soul, shall stand against her. If she vowed in the husband's house, or bound her soul by a bond that were an oath, and her husband heard it, and held his peace at her, and didn't disallow her, then all her vows shall stand, and every bond with which she bound her soul shall stand. But if her husband made them non void in the day that he heard them, then whatever proceeded out of her lips concerning her vows, or concerning the bond of her soul, shall not stand. Her husband has made them void. Yahweh will forgive her. Every vow and every binding oath to afflict the soul, a husband may establish it, or a husband may make it void. But if a husband altogether hold his peace at her, from day to day, then he established all her vows, or all her bonds, which are on her. He has established them, because he held his peace at her in the day that he heard them. But if he shall make them non void after that he has heard them, then he shall bear a wickedness. These are the laws which Yahweh commanded Moses, between a man and his wife, between a father and his daughter, being in a youth in a father's house. <laughs>